Have you checked your savings account lately? It's not easy to find the interest rate they're paying on your money. Yeah, NBC4 uh, consumer reporter John Mattery says that's because many of them are still paying almost nothing. Every day we hear about interest rate hikes from mortgages, car loans, you name it. Then why is your bank still paying you almost nothing for the money in your savings account? Robert McKay, like so many people, is working harder and spending less these days. He knows interest rates are now much higher if he wants to buy a new chainsaw or ATV to work around his small farm. But as for the money in his savings account... It was like point zero zero. 1%. He was stunned. While mortgage rates are soaring to 7%, car loans to 5%, he's still earning just pennies in interest on his life savings. Making $3 a month. According to the FDIC, the average savings account still pays just 0.21%, less than half of 1%. But you don't have to accept that. Some online banks are paying 2 to 3% now on savings, according to Bankrate.com. Among them, Credit Karma, Capital One, and Lending Club. Now, if you're willing to lock your money up for a year, bank rate says some online banks are offering CDs paying 3% right now. But you can do even better than that. The government's I bonds that follow the inflation rate are now up to 9%, the best nearly risk free investment you can find. You'll find those at the website treasurydirect.gov. But you have to do some legwork, as Robert McKay found, because if your money is just sitting in your bank account, don't expect any big rate hike anytime soon is just car rates, home rates. All the rates are going up except for what they're paying on the savings. So if you're making less than 1%, call your bank. Search online banks or check the government's Treasury Direct site so you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, NBC4.